Hi lovies! Welcome back to my channel, Missy Journals. I am so glad that you guys are here today. Um, I'm showing you a video, a little clip it. That's what it looks like outside my window in front of my craft desk where we're sitting at right now. It is boring. We are getting the weather from that tropical depression and it's blowing in a cold front. So if it gets a little loud, please forgive me. But because it is like that outside, it is a perfect crafting day. So I'm going to make my intro really long. I was sitting at my, just sitting, cutting stuff out. And I really was thinking about, you know, I really love using these Project Life um, plastic sheets in my journaling because they're great for pictures. You can do all kinds of little things with them. And you can make shakers and just pretty things. And I'm like... How would I incorporate something like that into like, let's say my gratitude journal? Of course, that doesn't have any holes. And of course, this is so much bigger than my, my traveler's notebook insert. And of course, it doesn't have the holes, you know, to insert this. So I have no idea if this is going to work. This may be a whole project fail. I may be setting myself up, but I hope I don't spend a ton of time and it fail on me. But I had an idea. So, of course, I need to do um, some more journaling in my gratitude journal. And what I was thinking about was, um, which these are the Project Life from Becky Higgins. Um, they're the six by eight. I love these. I love making mini pocket letters with these. But what I was thinking about was the tip in process. You know how you can tip in paper and things. I was like, well, why can't we tip one of these in? Now, of course, it's way too big, so we're going to have to cut it. But if you're blessed enough like I am to have a fuse tool, then this can work. So what I was thinking, my idea very quickly is, of course, that I'm going to trim um, this down right to the seal line. That'll be where I tip it in. And then, of course, I'll have to cut this down. And then the pictures and things that I'll be using here are a little bit smaller scale, too. So but because I have a fuse tool... Like, here's one of the pictures I really want to use. I want to be grateful for my husband today. Um, I was like, wow, I could use my fuse tool and maybe do a line across and make this little portion a shaker. And how cute would that be? Because then I'll be able to have a shaker in a traveler's notebook as like a tip in. So it's like, I don't even know what we're going to call this yet. You know before I know because by then I'll have already thought of the title. So, but this is going to be some kind of tip in is is what I'm getting at so just so you guys kind of know where I'm going with like I said I have no idea if this is going to work this is just something I thought about and I really want to do so the first thing I think that I'm going to do is um, cut this down of course I'm going to take these sides out and I'm just going to be really really careful not to cut the part that binds these together or fuses them together but we're going to cut basically the whole portion that you would put in like a binder off. Okay. So that part's gone. And then, so that's where I will tip it in right there. Okay. So, okay. So probably I will take this down to here right there okay and then what I'm gonna do I hope the glare isn't horrible what I'm gonna do is pray to God that I cut this in a straight line let's take it here okay and then I'm gonna go in right above where it's fused And then I'm going to go right here alongside this fuse. Okay. I'll put these off to the side because these can become a tip in as well. You just have to fuse them back together, but these could become a smaller tip in. But that's not what we're doing today. We're going to focus on these. So I still have my pocket. I still have my pocket. And then I still have this pocket. Now, of course, this is cut here, 
So I have to fuse this piece back together. And my fuse tool is super hot. I don't know if you can see it over there in the camera or not. But man, oh days, it's a smoking. So I'm going to lay this here. Where is my little ruler? Don't ask me where my fuse tool ruler is. I don't have a clue. But we are going to fuse this back together so that we have a pocket. And we have a pocket and then we have this pocket so I'm just gonna trim this up real quick right here I can see I kind of cut this kind of crooked okay there we go all right so now we have our pocket so my goal just make sure it fits yes it fits it's perfect Okay, so far, my plan is being executed. <laughs> I'm very happy. I hope this video doesn't get really long, but I want to talk through it. I want to talk through the process. So this is my picture of my husband and I. And of course, this is what I want to be thankful for today. So without this piece, this piece comes off. This picture will fit, but of course, it only takes up that much space. And then I want to back it with this one so that when you flip this, you know, you're going to see that on the back. So we'll run this one in a minute. I want to get this one done. So my thought process is, of course, is that I want to make um, the bottom portion a little bit of a shaker. So I have these beautiful fall colors. And now this is going to be the tricky part for me, <laughs> is trying to make this so that the picture still fits. Because, of course, you have to do the shaker portion first because you're going to fuse that off and then make another, so it'll make two pockets basically. But because the shaker's going on the bottom, that's the portion that has to go in first. So, without me blabbing, the blabbing, the blabbing. Okay, let me use this. This is the portion I want to go in there. And I want it to be like right there okay so my line I'm gonna use this because I know this will kind of like come right off okay so my line to fuse you know what I should use I don't know if this will come off but I know this will let me get this real quick okay my fuse my line to fuse should be about so this is a little bit wider yeah should be about right here right there okay okay so let me get this back out we're gonna fuse yeah we're gonna fuse does it stay Yes. Okay. So the next part, you know, the next thing I have to do is get a little bit of the shaker bits in there first before I fuse it. Where's my handy dandy little spoon? There she is. Okay. That's my sequence box. I'm not going to stuff these. I'm not going to like overfill this because, you know, it is going in a traveler's notebook. I don't want it to be too, too chunky because I still want my traveler's notebook to close, but I definitely do want some shaker bits down there at the bottom. I think this is going to, if this works, this is going to be such a fun and really cute way to be able to include some shakers and that, just that picture element that I love that these little memory um, keeper uh, plastic and, you know, the plastic things, they, I don't know, sometimes I just like that look. Okay, I think that's plenty. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it because this does have to go in this little book. I think that's perfect. I think the point is across. Okay, I'm gonna put this back over here. Put this back in here. Close this up. 
Okay. Pray to God my little wine is still there. It is. Okay, it's still there. All right, let me flatten these out so that my fuse tool works pretty good. Okay, it does. Okay, I want my fuse tool to run right there. Oop, I moved it. I hope you guys can see. Okay, Ooh, this puppy's hot. It's so hot, I better only do it twice. I don't want it to cut it. Sometimes if your fuse tool is too hot, it'll cut, it'll burn your thing. I think, I think we did it. We did it. Yay! So I have a shaker at the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. And then the picture will go up top. Yes, it worked. It worked. Hallelujah. Okay, so I want to back this picture on this back and then I'll trim it down. And then I'll trim it down to fit. I think this is going to work, guys. I think this is going to end up being really cute. I do, I do. Oh, I cut my nails. And now I have such a hard time pulling these things. Come on. Oh, that drives me crazy. All right, I'm going to give that a second. This has to be trimmed down. I'm going to trim this down a little. that I don't make a mistake and put it wrong. I think this is gonna work, guys. I think this is gonna work. And then this will just be a cool little extra, extra something special in your journals. You'll be able to do cute little tip-ins other than just with paper. Now, just pray to God that I can get this peeled apart. I don't understand why it's so hard for me. I struggle with them stupid little mushroom stickers too. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, my fuse tool is hot. I can smell it. It smells like it's burning. All right. Uh, the next thing is, Missy, don't put this upside down. <laughs> Does anybody else have that? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll trim this down just a tad. It looks great. It looks great. Okay, okay. Yay! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Matter of fact, I could probably back this. I could probably back this too. Oh, but then I'll cover that picture because it's a little bit big. But ah, I think I know what I can do there. Okay, so let me move on though. Let me work on the next little one that I wanted to do. So with this one, I thought it'd be really pretty to add a picture. Now, of course, again, this is too big. But again, in theory, I'm going to transfer some of this up here. So again, this is just in theory. I'm trying to see if it works, but I wanted to back this. Where'd that little paper pack go? Where, I know I have it set aside specifically for this. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. So I have this cute little one I thought was really adorable. It's not, I don't know though. It's not really fall fall, but I really liked, um, this paper maybe on the back let me see mm, I don't know maybe this one would look better more of the browns yeah I better stick with more of the browns okay Oh, I'm going to need more of a larger 
another piece of paper than that. Okay. I have it, guys. I have it. Oh, yeah. And I forgot about that, too. See that? I might add. No. That I might be able to add. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm getting off track. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I keep talking to myself instead of doing what I need to be doing. Ooh, I like the plaid. Maybe I'll do the plaid. Maybe the leaves are too much. No, the leaves have the blue. Okay. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, I can't grab it. There it is. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming back. Okay. That off to the side for a second. There it is. back this picture on this one. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Sorry guys, I hit the camera with the paper. Apologize. All right, let me move this out of here so you guys can see. Where's my little board? Here it is. Okay, that works perfect. And then for, um, is that the front or the back? No, that is, that's the front. Okay. I want that open. Ugh, I'll mess with that in a minute. Okay. So I want that right there. So, oh, it's getting a little hard to see, guys. I hope the glare isn't really, really bad. Just twice because I mean that puppy is hot I don't want it to melt and like not make a seal oh that's perfect yay yay I was like oh my god did I put that picture on backwards but I didn't <laughs> okay I'm gonna get my sequence again and this time I might have to use my fingers because that's a little pocket that's a little where's my little tweezers here they are that is a little pocket. Oh, 
Oh crap, that will open, right? Yeah, I see it. There we go. Yes, it opens. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to keep that open though. All right, I might, I might fast forward this part just a little bit as I try to figure out how to keep this open to put some sequins down in. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I'll get it. Okay. I'm so happy okay my air conditioning came on so that's what that hiss is if you hear it in the background so the only thing I'm not liking is how small this is and well I guess it doesn't look that bad so the next process is to get it in the book which I really wanted to journal and stuff before I do all of that but we'll see I just want to see if it's gonna work I want to see if it's going to work. Here's my book. Here's my book. Guys, I can't tell you how happy I am. I know I had to fast forward some of that, but I was just really quiet and it took me a long time to fill that because it was such a small space. So. Okay. Look how stinking cute that looks, guys. Look how stinking cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So the question is, do we use scotch tape so that, um, you know, you can't see it? Or should we use a decorative tape so it looks more folly? If that's even a word. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Like something like this, maybe. I don't like the pumpkins. That's too orange. And this, this doesn't work. This is like the beautiful wash. It's like crap. What other colors do I have down in here? I have this one. Let's see. I have this one too. This might be too much orange though. Oh no, that might work. That one might work. That one might, ooh, 
have the black and white polka dot one too. I wish I had something with a little bit more blue in it, but I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. I do have that one. I do have that blue one. I think that's too thin though. I need a wider one. Okay. I know I'm talking to myself, guys. I think in theory this is going to work. I think I'm going to go with um, this one. I really like the colors. Maybe overlap it with something. Okay. So in theory, this is going to work, guys. This is going to work. We're going to do it just like a normal tip-in. Just want to line it up. And that covers a little bit of my thankful and that. So I need to cut this one down just a little bit. Take it down to this. Okay. And we're going to take this one down just a little bit too. Look like right here. Okay. I think this is going to work, guys. I really, really do. And then what I can do is move this picture over because you're not going to be able to see it on that side anyways. Yay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Okay. So let me get this sequence a little over there. Okay. So let me get, should I use the same one or should I use something different? Do I want something different? on the other side maybe a little bit more neutral i think i'm going to use this one in theory this is working Actually, I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. There we go. A little bit more on the book. Hey, guys. I think it worked. I think we are in business as a tip in. Yes! Girl! Girl! <laughs> I'm so stinking happy with myself right now. Like, this worked. I was sitting in my chair going, I'd love to be able to put some shakers in my traveler's notebook insert. You know, but I don't know how I would do that. And I was like, but I got these really cute memory thingies. Maybe I could tip it in. How are you going to tip in plastic? <laughs> it totally worked. Oh my God. I am so happy. I am so happy. So I don't want this video to get super, super long. This is basically what I wanted to show you to do. So I think I'm going to turn off the camera. Um, I don't know. Then I might get comments like, you should have showed us how you journaled. But this video might be really, really long. But what I'm basically going to do is journal. What day are we on? So we left off on day nine. So this will probably be 10. And this is probably going to be 11 because I'm going to journal about my husband underneath. So my husband and I underneath. So this will probably be day 11. So basically, I'm just going to put some fun things down. And it's going to be a lot of writing, which I feel will be very boring for you guys. So I'm going to do that real quick. And I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product for this page. And then I'll do 10 
another day or later today but on off camera but you'll probably see both days together in their entirety over on my Instagram when I get them done but girl girl we did it we tipped this in it fits in my little traveler's notebook insert for my TN and I got a little shaker tip in Oh, I absolutely love it. I'm so stinking stoked. Okay, so I'm going to quit blabbing. <laughs> I'm just so happy. So if you have a fuse tool, you can totally, totally do this. I am so excited. So I'm going to quit blabbing. I'm going to get at this. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so I lied. <laughs> I thought... If I'm going to do the journaling, I might as well just get the page done. So I know for you it was a second. For me, it's almost an hour later. But oh my gosh, I'm so in love. Now I want to make a whole bunch of these for all different kinds of things. I'm like, I could even put some of these in my um, bullet journal. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy. So for day 10, I wrote all about how I was thankful for Grace and just kind of used a um, glue book or kind of like thing just putting a whole bunch of fun things down trying to pull some of this orange and stuff over to this side so they kind of look a pleasing to the eye they kind of come together and then I did add some stickers on top of the plastic pieces I added a butterfly I added this beautiful little piece I added a love circle here and then because that showed on the other side when you flip the little tip in the shaker tip in I added another little circle piece there that talks all about um, being thankful for your life and then this is my journaling portion um, which is life's journey I just used a printable that shows this big road um, traveling through uh, the woods or trees because Jeff is my life's journeys partner he's my partner through life's journey however you want to state that so I just thought this was so fitting you know that it looks like you're you're going on a journey and my journey god bless me with a husband um jeff so i just wanted to write all about how i'm not on my journey alone and i'm so grateful that um god has given me a partner to go through life's journey with and that's kind of what i wrote here as my as my as my journaling so I really love how this turned out. And then this picture, um, I put it in here because it's just beautiful. I took this picture not far from my house. This is one of our favorite like little lakes to go through. And then this is just like because it's fall and I love that she's standing in the leaves. And I just love how all of this like tied in together. I am thrilled and I'm thrilled that I have this little shaker piece in my traveler's notebook insert like that is so exciting for me to me and it worked it was just a simple tip in I love it so guys if you have a fuse tool and let me grab these real quick some of these little guys you can make some really cute stuff so this is the project life um the smaller ones but even if you had like the the nine pocket protector card like the baseball card ones I don't know if I saved that little plastic one. What did I do with it? The one I first cut. Mm, I don't remember what I did with it now, guys. It's like an hour later. But you could do the same thing. You know how like they're... You could just take the two pockets that look like this. Cut the other off and then you'll have one, two. You might even be able to get three depending on how you know long your book is. But you might be able to get three of them in there. Even if you have like the nine, ba you know, basketball ones, the ones that we make pocket letters out of. So you could even do it with them. I'm sure. I just like the difference between having this kind of pocket and then a long pocket. And I got mine at Michael's, you know, and they're like, you know, I usually get mine on sale. So they're like, I usually get them for like two bucks and there's 12 of them in here. So yeah, I'm really excited. I want to go on and on and on and make this video forever. But I love, 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 love how this turned out. 
So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that you really love this process. I really didn't know how it was going to turn out. It was one of those things I just was thinking up in my head and was like, I have to go see if I can make this work. And I really do think it, I think it worked. I really do. You guys let me know in the comments of what you think, or am I just like gushing for nothing? Or did some other YouTuber come up with this and I just haven't seen the video yet? Not saying that I'm the original, but in my mind, I've never seen anybody do this, like make these little pocket protector thingies a tip in, in like in a traveler's notebook. I've never seen it. So for me, this is very exciting that something I thought up in my head actually worked. <laughs> it actually worked. So I'm rambling again because I'm so excited. But anyways, you guys let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have any other ideas, like something, you know, how else could you use this? I would love to hear your ideas. So don't hesitate to comment for a second. And then make sure if you're brand new to my channel before you leave, please give this video a big thumbs up. It does wonders for my channel. It really helps me out. And, you know, consider subscribing and become part of the Lovey Tribe. I love doing stuff like this. And if you love it, then you're going to have a great time here. And then drop down into my drop box and check out all of my social media links because I'm all over the place. And I also have a Patreon where I do a whole bunch of other stuff on. So I thought I'd squeeze that in there. All right, guys, I'm really going to go now. I love you. Have a great blessed day. I'll be talking to you very soon in another video. And until then, as always, stay creative and journal what you love.